here's some more uh, pro-Islam absurdity that I was reading about recently. Uh, turns out this is out of India, not surprising. Uh, you know, considering the fact that India is just something else. But it says here uh, on Jihad Watch, it's going to get right to the point because uh, there's the, just the absurdity of this whole thing is just whatever. But again, what what's to expect out of Hindu India? But it says here, uh, India's national security advisor, terrorism is against the very meaning of Islam because Islam means peace. Yeah. So this Indian's uh, national security advisor. And for those of you who don't know, India has, a th I think it's like the largest Muslim population for a non-Muslim uh, majority country. Which you know is evident at this pandering to Islam from these politicians in India, but it says here uh, in the article that basically he quotes these Quran verses about you know uh, Surah 860 strike terror into their hearts, Quran 812 you know Surah 812 I will cast terror into the hearts of the unbelievers, but apparently Islam is against terrorism according to this Indian uh, national security advisor. <laughs> yeah, uh, tell me another joke because that was that's that was pretty funny. But it says here in the article, uh, extremism and terrorism is against the very meaning of Islam. Uh, this is says the it says uh, Elma have uh, sorry, sorry Elima whatever you say his name have a leading role in in educating people on the original tolerant and moderate principles of Islam, and countering extremism with progressive ideas and thought. National Security Ajit Doval said Tuesday in his opening address at dialogue on the role of Elim, Elima. In fostering culture of interfaith, peace, and social har harmony in India and Indonesia, Doval said we need to work together to develop common narratives on de-radicalization. The delegation of the Elima and representatives of other religions have, have has come here uh, with Indonesia's coordinating minister for political, legal, and security affairs, Mohammed Mahfud, MD. The Alima held a day-long dialogue with their Indian counterparts and other religious leaders at India's Islamic Cultural Center on very topics. Well, if you want to talk about religious harmony, not just, you know, this and this is not, not just applied to Islam, get some of the Hindus under control too, because they're in many ways just as violent as the Muslims. But again, not surprising this is coming out of India. So, uh, but it says here in the article, in a democracy where there is no place for hate speech, prejudice, propaganda, demonization, violence, conflict, misuse of religion for narrow ends, he said. Well, again, you know, uh, it seems the biggest perpetrators of that in India are both the Hindus and the Muslims and the, and the Jesuits too. Uh, but it says here, uh, cooperation uh, of the civil society is essential for countering the threat from ISIS-inspired individual terror cells and, retur and returnees from figures like Syria and Afghanistan, he said. State institutions also need to come together in detecting and identifying political negative influencers and share information to counter their activities. And these alimas, uh, due to their deep connect with civil society, can play a vital role, he said. He said the Elima, the Elima, whatever, have a leading role in quote educating people on the original tolerant and moderate principles of Islam, encountering radicalization and extremism with progressive ideas and thought. Hmm. He says there are uh, uh, original tolerant and moderate principles of Islam. Okay. Shows again shows the whole ignorance of the Quran. Uh, same thing if someone were to say that Hinduism is tolerant and moderate. Yeah, it shows their ignorance of the Vedas and everything else. But again, you know, just the absurdity of that whole statement. The, the tolerant, you know, it's, it's not terrorism. And, and I'm not justifying, you know, all these wars of aggression over in the Middle East waged by America and everything else. Uh, that, that's pretty bad, too. I mean, America is just a pawn of the Vatican. But, you know, saying that Islam is not, Islam means peace. No, the word Islam actually means submission to their Arabian moon idol of Allah. You know, you can call me Islamophobic all you want. That's just the blunt and brutal reality of it all. You know, the truth hurts sometimes. And the truth is sometimes labeled Islamophobia. So anybody just wanted to get that out there, just the absurdity of this whole statement. Uh, it also flies in the face of Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12, what it says about uh, these Ishmaelite uh, descendants, these spiritual descendants of Ishmael, the Muslims. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.